Okay, so I've got some epoxy I've mixed up. It's getting thick all over. Let's not waste any time. Kind of hit the close-up button at the wrong moment there, didn't I? Okay. Yes, I certainly did. That was it. Okay, here we go. Okay, so that's my next attempt. <laughs> the box. So that's probably going to hold really well. So we'll leave that for a little bit. Okay, so it's been uh, maybe not even 10 minutes yet. I'll examine the uh, epoxy here, and that'll let me know what's happening over here. That's gotten pretty, pretty good already. Wow. <laughs> wow. Very good. Still sticking though. Might take about an hour to, to really get solid, but I think at this point, that speaker's not coming on, even now. I should have used the epoxy right from the start. We'll give it another half hour or so. Okay, I think this stuff is now uh, very thoroughly dry. Let's see if it's attached. Let me put the close-up camera on. movement between the speaker and the bracket. Not too surprising. Okay, so I think that's stuck on there really good. I think we're in business. There's one of the repairs I did. There. Very good. Let's put it back in. Put it back together. Drop this lid on me again. Oh. So there's a little more to putting this back in here than I, I thought. Let's go on here. It's very tricky to get in. Oh, it's very 
strange how oh, they've done this. What do you mean by that, Jim? <laughs> the two brackets that you screw the chassis to are not on a level plane. One is set much further back than the other. Well, how does that work? He says, and what is going on back here that's making this impossible to... happening here. Driven nuts by this. Okay, so screw goes through that slot. And there's one over here. In behind is the bracket. The radio is supposed to be on an angle, I guess. There you can see that. This one this one's interfered with. Can you see there's a wire right there? You shouldn't see anything but a hole to put a screw in. You shouldn't see a wire there. I gotta take a better look at that. I'm probably gonna damage something in there. Certainly I'm figuring out how to take it in and out quick. Oh my gosh, it's my <laughs> it's my own capacitor. Oh my gosh, what did I do here? <sighs> yeah, I set this up so that the screw that holds the radio in just comes in and nicely makes contact with positive terminal on this. Oh, I be glad there's no charge in it. That would have been exciting. Oh boy. Okay, so I think I can probably get this on there now. That's pretty good. I think that's good. So much for all that positional planning I did. There. Kind of dropped right in. Excellent. And I was very worried after I glued that speaker down that the speaker, being a replacement, didn't really actually fit properly. And that was one of the reasons it was knocked off, but no, nope, went in just fine. making 
sure it's all the way back. Strange. Okay, I guess that bracket doesn't have to be all the way forward. What can I do with my screw? There, there it is. <laughs> On the end of the screwdriver, there it is. Okay, so I just don't tighten that one all the way down. There it is. yet. The lid hinge. Okay. Back. that held there. Wow, is that supposed to be inside? Maybe so, eh? Because there's nothing here holding it. Come on. Really? Well, that's a little disappointing. I have to take the radio out. Ah, another lesson learned the hard way. Not that hard. Which way? I want the cord to come out the back. It has these felt pieces that I'm sure push up against the, the radio. So I'm going to put it in this way. I guess the manufacturer saved a screw or two on that or something. Okay. Because there is only two screws holding this in. That's economy. Normal. 
now it's clear why the two brackets are not exactly the same. It really doesn't matter at all. Neither one tightens up all the way. That's not too good, you know what? That really allows these screws to come loose. I don't like it. Okay, that's it. It also caused this front panel to bend down and the knobs are actually pointing a little, a little downwards here. Kind of mysterious. It looks like it's all the way back. Fine. Okay, good for now. So let's not attach the door yet. Let's try the top panel here. I'm going to go away and clean this. And then I'm going to darken this down so it's not so disturbing. I think that's what I'll do. Jeepers, I just noticed a huge problem here. This is this is huge. Look at the speaker sticking out. That's gotta go down my gosh, like almost a full inch down into the radio back here to accommodate this. Something way wrong here. 